Hello, Test Pipe Monkey back again with Citadel again. And this time I actually made a note and I've got rid of the thing, so here we go. What we're going to be doing, apparently, is breaking into prison and grabbing the wrong items for the desert. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Um, so yes, there'll be a bit of uh, faffing around and doing stuff that's not very useful to us at all, but hey, anyway, we'll have some fun, won't we? Won't we? We will. We must. Uh, yes. So, uh, we'll also get injured and carted back to the south of the green. So, yeah, every time we have to go uh, through this part of there, we have to activate the switch, which obviously means we'll wake up the monk. Because as we get uh, anywhere close to the monk in the uh, X direction, he'll wake up. A bit like the uh, turkey, as I call him, uh, here, if we get anywhere close. Uh, apart from this, monk's not doing it, but I, ah, I see we got a little bit closer there and the monk woke up. So yeah, we don't want to, every time we have to go through that room, we have to kill a monk, otherwise uh, we'll just get injured by it. And we have to activate the switch all the time because, I don't know, it's a faulty switch. It's a bit dodgy. It needs fixing. It keeps turning itself off. off. So here, we have the well wheel, and we see we have a door, and we have a switch there, and we have to get down into the well at some point. So, hmm, I wonder how we're going to go about that. Yeah, the, the puzzles in this, they can be a bit tricky, but sometimes they're a bit uh, straightforward. So, um, we can see here, the prison. We will be visiting the prison, obviously, because it's an adventure game, everything we see we're pretty much be visiting. So now we have a key and a trampoline. I think we uh, used the trampoline before. I don't think we need it anywhere else, really. Um, <clears throat> but obviously, we can carry two things around and we haven't found anything else to pick up that we want to use at the moment. So, yes. Oh, yes, yeah, so I said the uh, the whole point of this episode is to break into prison. So when I say we'll be break, uh, we'll be seeing what's in the prison, well, of course we'll be seeing in the prison. We'll be seeing it later on this episode. <sighs> I should remember things more. Anyhow. Yeah, we're doing fairly well for energy, as you can see at the top there, 226. I mean, we have been picking up things and using those blue blocks to help us out. But uh, this uh, uh, losing of energy is pretty uh, consistent, and uh, if we hadn't done that, uh, we'd be pretty low by now. But anyway, yes, we're investigating the sour. Uh, the sour is a bit like the ocean. It's got the same kind of wildlife around it. Uh, obviously, it's been overgrown and it's uh, not been very well looked after. Of course, this is a, an abandoned citadel, which Marduk, the dictator, has uh, spotted to use its teleporter to teleport his evil army uh, to here, if you don't remember that. Oh yes, we do need the uh, um, trampoline here, because there is another crown which we'll be getting. And yep, there's absolutely no way to tell that we could do that. So we've got a rather fetching green crown now, and uh, we'll uh, exit out of here. So yes, I think the, uh, the G there is saying which key we have. Oh yes, and if you land hard on the water as well, it'll uh, hurt us if we fall too far onto it. And we see over here, the cellar again. They haven't renamed the separate parts of the cellar. But yes, we've got our little turkey thing following us. And we've got a snowflake thing, which we uh, might want to get at some point. The snowflake is actually kind of magical item, which will um, turn all water into ice. And so that we can walk on it. Uh, we haven't really seen any place where that will be useful at the moment. So we'll actually see later on what's going on with that. But, uh, yes. So we've got the what, cyan and blue key here. So what we're going to do is look for a cyan and blue door. Now, if you're paying attention, you'll know where that is. And if you were paying attention to when I repeated myself about what we were doing this episode, you'll know exactly what we're doing. <coughs> Fortunately, I remember this time. So here we go, sign and blue door leading to the prison, surprisingly enough. Yeah, if you've got some height like that, 
it's good. Oh, I said we were going to use the trampoline again, and look, we've already used it in a couple of places since then. I really don't remember this. <sighs> Whether that makes a better commentary or not, uh, who can tell? Probably not. So yes, if we got the height advantage on the uh, the monks, we can actually zap them pretty easily. I was going to say, it, I wonder if it hurts to zap lasers out your eyes, but since she loses, you know, energy points when she does it, I uh, think the answer is yes. So anyway, we've managed to break into prison to get a head. Well, it's kind of got some slight Egyptian styling to it. So, um, guess where we're going to be taking that. And yes, as you may be able to appreciate, this place is quite dangerous. And quite tricky to get over to the other side. I can see I royally mess it up. <clears throat> so, we'll uh, try again. I don't know exactly what I did. I obviously lost the height of my uh, bounce. And ooh, that looked like it was quite enough. But yes, we've got another fireplace there. We don't actually want to cook anything in that fireplace. There is uh, another thing we want to be doing there, but uh, we'll be getting on to that. So yes, I, I said I made some notes previously about the, the kind of goal for each of these episodes. And I said at the beginning, I was grabbing the wrong items for the desert. So... Um, <clears throat> Actually, all these three items, which I've just recently had, the head, this bone, and uh, the uh, <coughs> blue thing, are quite useful in the desert and have to be used in the desert. However, I'm not quite sure why I'm picking up the wrong things. Uh, we will find out in a bit, I reckon. So, obviously, there's the one thing. Um, yes, I think I know where uh, the problem lies here, actually. <coughs> Because we've got something for the witch's house here. And uh, obviously we need to get back into the witch's house. And how did we get into the witch's house? And uh, what have we not got upon our person that would actually be useful to get into the witch's house? Yes, exactly. Um, so really, well... I suppose it's kind of a, a half good thing. I mean, we wouldn't be able to take the uh, the blue block out with us. I see there I've realised my mistake. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to bring the blue block out with us if we brought the trampoline out with us as well. So it's a kind of good thing, I suppose, that we came out now. I mean, it seems like it might be a bit of a waste in the wasteland. Ha ha ha. And you see also the uh, the limitations on the, the palette here when our little girl stands in front of the, the blue. All her cha uh, colours change very strangely. And you can see the stars coming through the monk there. And possibly us as well, yeah. You can see the stars coming through us as well. So yes, um, well... Since we'll be coming here, we'll drop the bone off there and we'll be getting back to this next time. See you then.